Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well. Um, I'm here with the completed pages I did in the month of April. I only did, I think it was 15 this month. Things has been manic as always, back in the office now two days a week. So that cuts down my colouring time because I have to drive. So let's have a look. I did do one in Luna. This is the first page I've done in this book. So this is one off of Colour Mahore 2022. I like this one and I did this page of the little girl with all the buddies um, and this was done with Black Widow pencils of, I can't think which ones it was done with now but I really enjoyed it I love the the picture I love the little colours of the bunnies it was fun to do it was a nice and simple one and like I said it's another one off of Colour My Horde yay Then I've done so, uh, two, I think, yep, two in stained glass Egyptian designs by Satch and Satch Diva. I could potentially see me finishing this this year because I just love these, like sit and do them for hours. Um, so these are, are done with the Ohuhu water-based markers. So I did this one of the cats and this one here with the scarab beetles. Again, just using the Ohuhu markers. I mean, a lot of patterns because they're so easy for me to just sit and do when Jennifer's around and it doesn't matter if they get a bit wrecked. So two in Colour by Number Patterns by Jade Summer. Let's get to them. I like these. Again, these are books that I just love to sit and do. So I did this one. Again with the Ohuhus. They are <coughs> getting a bit ragged around the nibs now. <coughs> Some of them are running out. <coughs> that's okay that's what they're for they're to be used and once they're gone I will use the pens uh, pencil case for something else probably put my uh, glitter pens in it and the rest then Jennifer will use she uses them anyway but mostly the blues and there's that one I love that it's all greens and a little bit of yellow I did one in colour by number Jade Summer Flowers in fact I did two in this one as well I think so yeah, I did this one. Again, this is using the Ohuhus and the water-based ones. I really love these. I love doing these colour by numbers. They're just so relaxing to do. And I've had quite a stressful month uh, with Jennifer sleeping. She does not want to go to bed in her room. She doesn't want to go to bed on her own. She won't go to bed unless I'm with her. She wants to sleep with me. Which of course takes away all the time I usually use for doing things like, mm, I don't know, filming <coughs> and colouring. And I managed to get colouring done as well at other times. Then I've got colour my number mandalas. Like I said, it's mostly patterns this time. Just simply haven't had time to do anything else. And again, there's two in this one. I did this one. This bit is supposed to be white, so I've just left it. And I did this one. I like this one. And these are so small, they don't take very long to do either. So you do these ones quite quickly because they don't fill the page. Same with the flowers one. And then beautiful patterns. I did one in that one. Is it one or two? It's one in this one. And I did this one. I love this. Sort of all pastel colours almost. And it looks so, so nice. It really does look nice. I really like that. And I also did one in the Christmas one just because I thought I didn't want to leave the Christmas book out. So, and again, I did this one, which is really nice. I just I find them so relaxing to do. So that's why I've been doing a lot of them lately. I've got a lot of pictures I want to colour this month. That's that one. Next, I've got 50 Diamond Mandalas, uh, colour by number by Satch and Satch Deva. This one I haven't marked, that's because it was downstairs and I've just brought it up and I did this one. Again, these are so simple to do. I love them. I, I love the fact that the colour palette is the same for every single one of them, regardless of the book. Unlike Calico Astopia, I find that quite annoying. Oh my God. But that is what it is, anyway. Uh, sorry about that. And I've got easy 50 Easy Mandalas by Jade Summer. Again, this one's not been marked because it was down there. And this was done using those Crelando Liddles pens, the water, the water markers. So you can actually use them on watercolour paper and blend them and put a brush to them and water to them and they will spread and, and that, but I just use them as a felt pen. 
I think that looks quite nice actually. As I said, not many this month, a very short couple of videos. Hopefully May might be a bit better, I hope. I did one in Stardust Space Lust by Carla Magana. I did, it's actually the cover page. And I did it all with glitter gel pens. And I actually really like it. So I'm gonna put a picture of it on my Insta later. I really like that. I like this book as well, it's a really nice book. So I thought I'd do it with Stardust Space Lust. I'll do it all in glittery pens, so. And the last one I did was in the Ava Brown book, Kawaii Fairies, new book from last month, and I did this one. Really cute. She reminded me of Belle from Beauty and the Beast because she's got the roses, she's got that sort of dress around the top of the bow. So I did it all in the yellows, and it was probably done with um, a mixture of markers. Um, background will be oh, the Ohuhu pastels. That would be for my skin tone set or the Arteza Everblend and the others are probably for my older Arteza Everblend. Those are all the pictures I did last month. <laughs> Terrible, not very many, I know, so I do apologise. I will try and do more this month and I will try and get some colour and chats done. I might just do some quick ones rather than doing pencil work like we were doing with Sarah Richter. I'll just do that and I'll just get... Um, something like uh, this book or another book and just do some colouring chats on those and try and get a picture done in, in one sitting or maybe uh, a PDF. Uh, hopefully we'll be filming that shortly. Anyway, that's it for this month. I will see you in the next video very, very shortly.